Right, uh, carrying on with the van. Right, last uh, one of the previous episodes, I bought, I signed a board of van. I think I showed everybody around the outside. The inside is um, just thrown in at the moment because I've obviously got to do some work with it. Work with it, as in I need to do work before I actually kit it out. That's it, that's what I'm going to say, yeah. So as you can see, there's now a bulkhead. I already do need a bulkhead. And there was some grill up there, but that was stuck to the, uh, stuck to these. Um, yeah, so first things first, I, I need to make this van pay for me. Um, so it'll pay for itself. First things first, put a roof rack on, bought a Rhino roof rack. I bought the two bar system. And I, I, it's on now. I, I, I was going to show a video of doing that. I did it in no time. As soon as he come here, I got home for about six o'clock, half past six. Uh, the wife's going to be back at about seven o'clock. Um, so I decided I quickly get it on there, out the way, uh, etc. It's a two bar roof rack. I wish, I wish I'd have bought a three bar roof rack because um, it's Sunday. Right, um, I've just been down to the mother-in-law's to, she's moving house. So I'm emptying it bit by bit. I've got a lot of stuff in the back here. I've got some shelving that I'm going to put in my um, uh, stores. Yes. Um, yeah, so I've got some shelving. I've just unpacked all that. I've still got st stuff piled up, piled in the back of here. I'm going to show you. Right, so I, I bought this two bar roof rack. I wish I'd have bought three bar. Uh, not because I'm carrying heavy loads, not because I've got a Van Vault tube that's got to go on here, but because um, I've got two bolt racks and they don't span the route, they don't span the length of the three bars. So I've got to try and get a, a, a middle bar for a, a Rhino uh, roof rack. Yeah, so that's what I am. So the other thing I'm going to do is very little in the way of anything down the back there no cameras nothing at all so i'm going to run a um parking camera yeah i'll run a parking camera down the back there so i can use that uh some stuff come out my bin yep blind along the road i hope nobody sees it before I get a chance to pick it up. Right, so I'm going to put a parking uh, reversing camera on there. But I'm also going to put that into a 12-volt uh, DVR. So it'll record. Um, the other one is, um, I just need a feed down there. I'm, I'm only going to be taking about 10 milliamps. So what I'm going to do is, I've got a small Ubiquiti Wi-Fi camera, which basically when I park my van up here it'll notice that I've come up onto the Wi-Fi network area um, and it will start recording onto my Wi-Fi network cool eh uh, once I drive away it'll be as much good as a chocolate fire grate but when I come back to my Ubiquiti network it'll record it onto the dream machine and that's the benefit of having a network by ubiquity because you put all the cameras on it you put the access control the doorbell everything on it although i ain't got the doorbell yet you put the doorbell on the access control all onto the dream router um it stores it onto the internal storage if you want more i've got to say this at the moment i'm just using the internal storage and Knowing what I know about cameras, I don't know how it does it, but what I know about cameras is you need at least one gigabyte per camera, per network camera. Um, I ain't got that much in my dream machine and it's still recording. So I don't know actually how it does it, but you can fit a um, memory chip, SD card, SD card. Yeah, small SD, micro SD card. I'm going to put one of them in. I think the biggest you can get is 260, 200, oh, 200 odd uh, gigabyte. It 
looks as if it's going to do me. Um, yeah, I mean, like I've only got the uh, one, two cameras on the network. All the other cameras are on the um, MVR upstairs in the. Oh, I can't tell you where my MVR is. No. Right. So uh, I'm going to get it in the bulkhead here. Um, in in the the metal work, take the bulkhead, metal work. I'm going to shove a flexicon. Um, all hail to uh, Mick Bundy, the flexicon guy. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a bit of flexicon down there, uh, just so I've got a route. Uh, because I am gonna start fitting some. You know, the stuff you can get behind radiators to reflect the heat. I just want to keep the heat in here a bit. Um, because it is winter. You got, I've got the fan, it works. I've got the aircon, that works. Um, but I, you see a little bit of uh, condensation on the roof. I don't, I don't want that. So I'm going to fit a bit of flexi. Sorry, flexicon. I got it on. I got Nick Bundy on my brain. Now, I'm going to put some uh, reflective foil on the top there, which is uh, foam as well. Glue it on. Um, and then I'll cover it over with something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And um, there's always something you can do because you can do it in the cars. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Put a channel down there so I can get my cables down there. Get some power down there because I need some uh, charging points for 12 volt stuff. I don't want this very little, it's a bipper. Uh, it's got to see me through. Um, I've got the one point here and that's it. That's all you got on the bipper, I think. I haven't seen anything else yet. Um, yeah, and the trouble is I've got my dash cam on here, I've got my uh, phone, etc. Um, it, 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 it's not looking good, so I'm going to have to do something. Also, I don't know if you can see this. Sorry, I've got my hand in the way. I don't know if you can see. Let's get it around here, folks. Um, this radio, it's analog. I'm just eating my uh, cereal, which I've got in my top, and obviously. It, it's a bit of an after thing. It's quite nice. Right, so that's analog. Uh, what I might do is I might change all this out. That means removing all this lot and putting uh, doubled in and putting, you know, at least I've got sat nav on the actual radio rather than me having to put my iPhone up there and stuff like that. So I'll probably get something with Apple Play, Apple Play and, and Google Apple Play. Yeah, Apple Play and Google Connect, whatever it is. Yeah, I'll get a radio with that eventually. But uh, yeah, I mean, it seems a decent car, to be honest. The price I got it at was all right. It has got problems, it got a little bit of oil leak. Um, but yeah, follow me along. Um, I'm gonna try and film as I do it. I'll probably be screaming and I, I don't know, because I hate doing things in cars like this. Uh, I'll get some power across here somewhere. I'll show you how I've done it. Don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. It's going to be in Flexicon. It's going to be in the... Uh, I don't know. I've just had a look. I can't do it that way because the door's there. Bear with me. And I can't do... Oh. Don't panic, Mr Mandarin. I'll find a way. I always do. Right. Um, that's it for me. I've got to start putting this... Um, I've got to empty this van. I've got to start putting the um, shelving together. Uh, the wash told me I've got to tidy up the back of the um, garage, which is my stores. And I've got to be honest, it's been like if ever since I decided to get rid of my old van, which is two years ago. Um, as you all know, probably now, if you've looked at my other video, I've broken into it that many times. It, uh, it was bad and much good as a chocolate fire grate after. So I got rid of it. Um, I've been driving my son's car. You've all heard this. Are you going to go over it? Um, Etc. So uh, follow me on the van. Oh, got to do the bonnet catch as well. But uh, yeah, I'll get, get me mate to do it. Anyway, TTFN, draw.